So we had this talk, you and I, a minute ago about the difference between infinite limits and limits at infinity. Limits at infinity are end behavior, where infinite limits have something are, are something totally different. So I'm going to remind you of that again uh, because I care about you and I want you to be successful. So let's find a couple of limits and let's see if we can see some of these things kind of uh, intrinsically. That here we have, look, we have two x here, and here we have, look, x squared. And what I'd like to try to convince you of is that everything else becomes relative, relatively irrelevant. So we have x over x squared, and what's the value of x over x squared as x goes to infinity? As x becomes incredibly large, like what would happen here? You're going to get an incredibly large number here with a smaller number on top, aren't you? So what it, what's going to happen with that? So here's a clue for you of, of how I do this. Um, I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by by x squared. So I'm going to so this is this is kind of my clue for you. This is my helpful hint of the day. So when you do this, look in the denominator and then divide by this thing right here. So I'm going to do so I'm just going to do this. 2x divided by x squared plus 5 divided by x squared all over 3x divided by x squared plus 1 divided by x squared, right? Which will give us, that will yield out to us, look, x over x squared is 2 over x, so 2 over x, plus 5 over x squared over 3, right? 3, 3 plus 1 over x squared. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to take the limit of those things and let these become really big, let these things become, these x values become really big numbers. So what is the limit as of 2 over x where x is an enormously big number? 2 over 100 is 2 is 2 100s. 2 over 1,000 is 2 1,000. Since this is getting smaller and smaller, this, right, this number is becoming irrelevant over an enormous number. So we have 0 plus 0 over 3 plus 1 over 1 over kind of infinity, right? 1 over infinity is 0. So we have this. So our limit is this equals 0 over 3. And what's 0 over 3? Exactly right. So the answer to the question is that the limit of 2x plus 5 over 3x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity is equal to 0. Isn't it? And why is that true? Because the truth of it is, what you really want to say is, look at this and this and ask yourself, if those become really big numbers, what will happen? And you'll end up with 0, won't you? Okay, let's, let's take a look at the next one. And the next one suggests this to us. Oh, you know what? I did it this way. Oh, hey now. Guess what? Well, look at this for a second. What is x squared over x squared? The rest of this, look, as x becomes enormous, this becomes irrelevant. So we have 2 times a really big number over 3 times a really big number, which is, I think, is going to be 2 thirds. I wonder if you can see that with me here, that the coefficients here are going to be what's important. How, what am I going to do? Same thing as we did before. I'm going to divide every, the numerator and denominator by the, by the variable and exponent of the denominator. So I'm going to have 2x squared over x squared. Why x squared? Where did I get my idea for x squared? From right here. So that's where I got that, right? Plus 5 over that x squared. And if, right, this is still just division by 1, isn't it? And then we'll have this. 3x squared plus 1. Both of those things divided by x squared here and x squared here. Isn't that right? So 2 over 2x squared over x squared is 2. But what's the what right plus 5 over x squared all over this is going to be look, take this out here. This is going to go to 3, isn't it? 3 plus 1 over x squared. But look at these things for a second. Now I'm going to look at these two pieces right here, this one and this one in the denominator. And as x becomes an enormously large number, we square an enormously large number, put a constant over it, don't these values have approach a value of 0? 
my little daughter just walked in. Hi, Avery. You don't want to talk? You don't want to be on a video? <clears throat> so we have 2 plus 0 over 3 plus 0 is 2 thirds, isn't it? So there's that limit. Okay, I was going to do another one, but Avery's here. And uh, you're important, but she's even more important. So um, two things. One, limits at infinity are in behavior. Infinite limits are something different. Second thing, please subscribe to my channel. Avery, say goodnight. What? Say goodnight.